As you read in the introduction, a CAD is divided into two parts. The first part records important facts about the design of the study so that you and the people you are presenting the paper to can decide if the study is likely to produce a valid result. So let's find the information we need to fill out part one of the Bonzu paper. The study title is pretty obvious here at the top of the opening page. The citation is a little hard to find and is often tucked in at the end of the abstract. The paper is in Academic Emergency Medicine and was published in 2005 in Volume 12 with uh, the pages as listed. The next stop is the Methods section. This is often filled with information that you will find hard to understand, so you need to ignore a lot and look for what you're after. Although we asked the question, were the cases and controls equally sick, second in our CAT, in the Bonzu paper, that information is given at the beginning of the methods section. I would translate this for you by ignoring the unimportant terms as, this is a study of children aged 29 days to 18 years seen in the emergency department who had CSF with less than 30 WBCs per cubic millimeter sent for total protein concentration and bacterial culture. That means that all the study subjects were children, some of which were Kristen's age, and they were all sufficiently sick to have a lumbar puncture. Now what about the gold standard? That information is found further down the page. Again, ignoring the non-essential information and paraphrasing a bit, it says, bacterial meningitis was determined to be present if bacterial culture of CSF was positive. In addition, and this is important given Kristen's story, because some children may have received antibiotic treatment before lumbar puncture, acute bacterial meningitis was also determined to be present if a blood culture grew a bacteria and CSF grand stain revealed the same bacteria. To clarify, the gram stain is a lab procedure in which CSF is smeared on a slide and stained with an agent that adheres to the cell coat of bacteria. In children who are partially treated with meningitis, bacteria are still seen in the CSF, but they may not grow in culture, whereas in these same children, a culture of the blood will grow the bacteria. So this alternative gold standard is important for our case and suggests the cases and controls in the Bonzu study were assigned in an acceptable fashion. So as we originally thought, this Bonzu paper looks like it ought to be an excellent study to answer our PICO question.